Peace and love. Peace and love. I'm on my way to work. I've been um, at the house just, uh, just really preparing myself for today. Uh, I took my time. I think pretty much most mornings I, I, I take my time. Um, getting ready. I, I don't like the idea of uh, rushing um, to get ready. I, I I strongly dislike when I have to rush to get ready because I always feel like I'm liable to miss something or forget something. Most cases, I forget to put it on lotion or get to put on deodorant even <laughs> that one that was funny uh stuff like that that you forget i don't br I, I don't forget to brush my teeth that's like a, a definite but i i have definitely left home and forgot deodorant before as a grown <laughs> and, and i have forgot lotion or uh miss a belt loop or that's just, it's a lot of things um, that I feel like when I'm, if I'm rushing, it might not be y'all. If I'm rushing, I might miss something. So, I don't like rushing to get ready. I like having enough time to prepare myself uh, mentally. Um, and, you know, I want to get dressed without feeling like I'm hot and sweating, trying to get ready fast and out the shower. Like, I don't so nowadays I, I really strive to take my time preparing and, you know. Um, so I was at home taking my time getting ready this morning and uh, all they dumped the, the new Sonny's barbecue. All they did was put the slab in the frame. I think I talked about it in a prior video but they haven't done any work since but I see that they they dump the uh the big trash bin it's been full all these days they just apparently dumped it since yesterday so that's some progress I'll be paying attention um but anyway that just got me excited that they did something else um but yeah like Preparing myself, staying in a peaceful state. Um, I, I feel like rushing gets me out of that peaceful state. It gets me in a state of anxiety. You know, I'm like, uh, you know, panicky or, or hurried, and I don't, I don't like that feeling. So I took my time getting ready today. It's almost 11 a.m. Initially, I thought I would go in around 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. Um, but I changed my mind. And, um, so I've just been, like, watching some, some videos and, and uh, just seeking to gain uh, more understanding of certain things that are, are happening going on in my life right now. It just really had me in this this thought that like um, I believe there's a lot of benefits to me making the decision that I made. Uh, that dec decision being to discover my inner God. Those letters, uh, the DYIG, Discover Your Inner God, um, they apply to me too. In fact, they apply to me first. Um, there's a, a level of accountability that comes with that brand.
also a brand ambassador. And I, I wear that brand proudly. But with that brand comes responsibility. Accountability. So there's just... There's this constant... Each day that I wear the brand, there's this constant remembrance that I I need to be actively discovering my inner God. It's not a one-time deal. It's not a, you know, old Sunday deal. It's not a only on the video deal. It's a lifelong commitment. And to be honest, I don't even know. I can't tell you that I was up for it when I first realized that that's what was happening. When I first started to realize that creating this brand, even doing these videos, was not just me sharing something with you. It was me agreeing to be an example of it for you. And so when I first discovered that, I thought about not even trying. I thought about not even moving forward with the brand because I didn't come in for that. <laughs> or so I thought. But me, my mind, my thinking, I felt I didn't come here for that. I didn't come here for me to be the one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For me to be the one having to change everything. You know? Uh... And, and and honestly, I, I didn't come here either for you to change anything. Like, I honestly came here thinking that maybe I could be of help by just speaking on my life situations and things that I'm experiencing and how I'm working to overcome those things. I thought that, man, this... Some, I think very deeply on, on matters and on things. Like, certain things happen. I get deep. I, I try to figure out why. I, I think about what my actions were, what the other person's actions were. Was any of it avoidable? Was there something I said that maybe I shouldn't have said? Was there something they said that, you know, I felt affected me or offended me? You know, like, I try to get down deep. I don't blame this person or myself or this, this whoever, whoever. I just try to understand what happened and why it happened in the first place, you know? Was it avoidable? Was there something that could have been done differently? What if I had not said that? Or what if they had not said that? Or what if they had not done that? What if I had not done that, you know? Um, so I try to think it through. I try to really process things and understand and, and just wrap my mind around it. And um, so, I thought that in making these videos, it would be as simple as, well, let me just share something that I'm experiencing and the people that whoever decides to watch, maybe there will be a helpful tip or many helpful tips, you know, that maybe can help them through something that they may be experiencing or dealing with in their lives. So that was the whole intent of the videos and, and the whole, even with the brand, it's like me sharing, you know, something that I enjoy and want wanted to do, um, but I didn't even know it was something really possible for me to do, you know, to just really dive into having my own clothing brand. Like, I didn't see all of that um, up front, you know. Um, but I believed in me, you know, but said all that to say this, I, I, I still didn't think, um, that it would be a responsibility that came with this brand, like of my life's 
uh, not lifestyle, well, lifestyle, my life, though, um, really having to reflect a, 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 a certain place or a certain uh I don't know. I mean, there, there's just a, a great responsibility that has come with this clothing brand that in the beginning, I thought about walking away from it because I did not want to have that burden. I didn't want people to look at me and say, I thought, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, or whatever. <laughs> you know, I didn't want that magnifying glass because I knew that with any slip or mistake that I make, I know how it will be criticized or could be criticized. And I felt like, man, there's a pressure that came with that, you know, um, a pressure to perform, a pressure to, you know, live up to um, what I talk about. But I was saying all that because those were the um, some of the thoughts that I had early on coming into um, the brand but as I sat this morning just preparing myself and preparing my mind and preparing my thoughts um, I thought about how like I say there's a lot of benefits that come with choosing this life there were a lot of benefits a lot of good things have happened for me a lot of things I've been able to overcome, a lot of fears I've been able to overcome, a lot of things that I would shy away from or, or back away from, I now can stand boldly in the face of and face things that I once wasn't able to face, you know. Um, I'm able to make, you know, firm decisions without fear, you know. Um, Fear has been one of the big things that I've been able to overcome through this experience. Um, so, yes, benefits, lots of benefits. But the flip side is that there have been some things that haven't felt so great, you know, some things that have hurt, some things that have caused me pain and grief um, and knowing that certain things have to change in order for me to reach the place that I'm trying to reach. Some things that I may not want to change. Some things that I, I will have to let go of to reach certain places. Some things I don't want to let go of, you know. And um, that understanding is sometimes painful. It's, uh, you know, It's just a tough place um, to be in, um, but I'm I'm thankful for the pros. I'm thankful for the positives uh, that come from it. I'm, but I mean, I guess I'm thankful for the the cons too, the negatives, um, because through it all, it's going to better me. You know, it's going to strengthen me, and it's going to give me the ability to overcome. And I believe that strongly. And uh, so, therefore, I'm willing to continue and and and, and do this. But uh, so, anyway, like I say, I was sitting this morning with, with these thoughts and, you know, just thinking about how my life has changed since I started this. Um, but it also brought me to understanding that there is still more to change. There's still more to lose. There's still more to gain. So, said all that to say this. Uh, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're experiencing in this time. I don't know if this time for you has been filled with, you know, moments of feeling joy and happiness and celebration of things that you're doing in this time. You're doing things that you haven't done before. You're accomplishing goals that you haven't accomplished before. You're getting further along in, in progress and success than you've ever gotten before. So it's a lot that you're happy about. It's a lot that you're excited about. You you having so many things, just it's almost like blowing your mind 
how many great things are seeming like they're starting to happen for you and flow for you and you're starting to have more conversations. You're starting to meet more people that think like you and, and see what you see and understand you. And that feels good to finally feel like you're not weird <laughs> or, or to feel like you're an outcast or you're alone because this journey is lonely. If you don't know that yet, Keep going on this path, you know, of bettering yourself and wanting to do better and be better. It's going to be less and less and less and less people around you because so many people that you we call friend and family and loved ones and close, closest, best friends will not understand this part of you because they're used to you being regular you that do the same things that they do. They're not ready for a better you. They don't want a better you because the better you makes them look a certain way because now they look like the only one still living that way to you. You know, or around you, they, they know that they 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 don't look as great. You know, and, it, and it's really a mind thing because we all have the same potential and ability to be as great as we want to be, but it's just the choice that we make to say, I want to choose this better for myself versus choosing the average mediocrity that I have been choosing the rest of my life, you know? And um, once you know better, it's our responsibility to do better. So a lot of us, um, we get to this place where we choose and then we start to feel like outcasts because our friends are not happy with our choice to be better. And it, sometimes it's not even that they, you know, come at you with those exact words because that may not even be what they believe that they're doing but their actions will be showing you that they have a problem with you bettering yourself they're jealous of you and where you are now they're jealous of the, the things that are happening in your life and it's not intentional it's just the fact that they thought you were the same they thought that you would accomplish the same they thought that your pay should be the same they thought that your blessings should be the same they thought that your car should be the same they thought that your house should be the same but you're, you may be moving into some new things. You might be bettering your situation. And it might not be that you went and bought a brand new big old house or a brand new big old car or, or fancy clothes and shoes. It may not be that you did that. But it may just be that you no longer are, are paying your bills and being totally broke at the end of the month. Now you're paying your bills and got actually a couple, maybe a couple hundred dollars left. And you like, you know what I'm saying? You thankful for that. You thankful for that because you know that that ain't always been your your case. But to your friends, they might look at you because you can go get you a a, a double burger this week. They might look at you and be like, "Well, you think he all that because he got a double burger <laughs> instead of a single." He, you, he normally we always got a single burger. Well, you just got to show off that you got more money because you bought a double burger. No, I'm celebrating myself the fact that, man, there was a time that I couldn't even buy a double burger. I couldn't even afford a double burger after I paid bills. I couldn't even afford the bread. But thank God for where I am and I'm thankful for where I am now because now I can pay my bills and I can get me a double burger. And watch, if I keep on going, going I'm mean, eventually be able to even pay my bills and get me a whole combo. Upsize. Let me large size that. You know? And I've been, you know, silly with the, the, the burger thing. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm so sincere about the idea that some of your friends, some of your family, some of your loved ones will really be hating on you and jealous of you because you're progressing. And they don't even know how to express it to you, you know. So they just being bitter and they just doing dumb stuff and they just creating arguments out of the air, creating division when we should be unified in this time. Everybody, we should be we should be unifying in this time, you know, building something. But instead, you got people showing you who they are in this time. My whole point 
<laughs> the main message I'm, I'm trying to get across is don't be scared now. Don't don't back down now. Don't don't start thinking twice because people are starting to disappear and exit make their exit out of your life because they can't deal with how much better you're doing. They can't take it. They can't and that lets you know how they really think about you and have always thought about you though. Don't think this is something new and temporary. No, they have always felt this way about you. But y'all were in the same pot, so there was no reason to be jealous or to show their jealousy because you were the same. You were doing the same things. You were experiencing the same struggles. You, you, you hung out in the same places. You did the same things. You ate the same foods. You drank the same drink. But now that you have decided to change, now you strange. And now they, they gather trying to find other people to join their army. And y'all might think I'm getting too deep, but I'm not because it, it's happening. They're listening for somebody else to speak something negative of you that they can join on to now because they know that it's going to be a hard fight to bring you down because of your elevation. They know they can't single-handedly bring you down. So they're looking for others to form an army against you. Now, this might be going over some of y'all head, and that's fine. This ain't for you yet. But for those of you who know what time it is and you know what's going on and you know that you've been being elevated in this time because you have decided to let go of certain things, you're not letting certain traumas and, and childhood experiences hold you back anymore. You have been doing the work to overcome those things. You're overcoming fears. You're doing new things. You're experiencing new things. You're receiving new blessings. You're meeting new people. You're meeting the right people. You're getting rid of those people or the people who were meant you no good are leaving, walking out of your life or leaving you thinking they hurting you thinking they're doing something to you against you to bring you down but they really just cutting themselves off from the source y'all that ain't arrogance that's not arrogance if you understand if you don't understand call me message me talk to me let me help you understand what i'm saying i'm not speaking to you all in a place from a place of arrogance or being above you i'm speaking to you with boldness and power knowing that what is inside of me it's the same thing that's inside of you, but you got to know what it is and you got to be able to tap into it to speak with this confidence that I'm speaking with. <laughs> People are looking right now in this time because of you elevating, because of you making little choices to change little things in your life because you just want better. You tired of life the way it's been. You tired of running the same cycle of, of life this way, circulating but not elevating. We talked about that. You tired of it. You got tired of it. Or either you're getting tired of it. You're somewhere on that path of either I'm sick and tired of it or I'm starting to realize that I think I'm kind of getting tired of this. You know, you you somewhere on that line. If you're anywhere in that range, and you understand that you needed to make some changes in your life. It's no longer about blaming the other people who you feel have held you to this place for so long or held you back. You're done with blaming people. You, you've outgrown that. You've gotten past the point of blaming all your problems on people and situations and things. Although they did happen. Although they did affect you. Although they did before weigh on you. You have grown to understand how to overcome all that. So now you're not blaming people no more. You're only looking at yourself now. You're looking within yourself and you're finding out that there are things about you that can change that will make life better for you. So you got a choice to make. Do I continue living life the way that I've been living it and continue to be unhappy with life? Or do I make up my mind today that I'm gonna make change so that life can be better for me? So when you get to that place and you decided to make change, you, you've been in this range, you decide, I want to change. Now you're actively, you have a plan of how you're going to change. And you're working on that plan of action every day. When you get to that place, you'll understand what I'm saying. You know this is not arrogance at all. It's divine. 
Certain people are supposed to get away from you because they can't handle you. You make them feel uncomfortable. You come around, they gotta, they gotta, they don't, they don't even wanna, there's some people I come around, they don't even wanna cuss around me. I ain't never had no rule of don't cuss around me. I, I cuss. <laughs> but people in their mind will be there, oh, don't cuss around him. Oh, tuck your shirt in. Oh, turn that music down. Here come. I make music. But people will, will will see you a certain way. They'll see a certain light up on you. And they feel like they, they're not on your level. You didn't tell them to think like that. They, they will do this on their own. So I'm saying don't hold yourself responsible because of how other people think it or see you. It's not your fault that they see themselves less than you. Especially if you spend your time and your energy, your days, trying to tell people how they can be better than you. Nobody can tell me that I think I'm better than them if everything that I teach and preach and talk is how you can do better than I have done. That's your own fears and insecurities that would make you tell me that I think I'm better than you. You don't know me then. And I could care less about being better than you. What does that mean to be better than you? What does that even mean? See, those are measurements that you live by. I don't even live by that. I don't compare myself to people to say I'm better or worse. I look at my own life and say, I want better for myself. I can be a better Milton than I have been before. I can show y'all in history or people that know me can walk you through history and show you some ugly Miltons. Facts. There are people watching this video that have had a horrible, terrible experience with me at some point. That's truth. But who am I today? That's what matters. Who am I today? Yeah, I know who I was. I know who I've been. I'm, I'm aware. But who am I today? Do you know me today? Can you say that you see those same things in me today? No. I still got work to do. Still got work to do. You know? I took my name tag off to do the video, y'all. I don't know. Keep my name tag on all the time. I don't be wanting to spread no message on behalf of their brand. All these thoughts of mine, they are not related to in any way to the company that I work for. They have nothing to do with the words that I speak. But even there, there are people who are waiting on me to slip up. So they can say, aha, I knew he wasn't as positive as he acts or as he talks. But I ain't worried about them folks. I'm not here for those people. I'm here for those people who know who I am. That's what I'm here for. But don't turn back now. Don't you get scared now because it feels uncomfortable to you that people are walking away from you or people are showing you their true colors right now and it's hurting you so bad you you thinking maybe I should go back to being my old way so they feel more comfortable. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare dim your light to make some other people feel more comfortable when they have the opportunity to shine their light just as bright or brighter than you. Don't dim your light for them. In fact, I encourage you to shine even brighter that's what I'm doing. I'm going to shine even brighter now. I'm going to turn up the heat. Y'all couldn't handle me before today. Wait till y'all see what I'm bringing now. And I ain't even, y'all know, you couldn't have thought that anyway. But let me clarify for anybody new on here who might not know me, who thinks that, that means I'm going to go do something dirty or grime with somebody. I don't operate that way. I'm saying, I'm going to show you with love and kindness. 
I'm gonna shine even more light in the area of love and kindness to the point that you can't stand to be around me. It, it's gonna make you sick and hurt and and nervous and 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 angry and all at the same time every time I come around all because you just can't even understand me you can't even understand how I can just still be so at peace with your hatred around me man I know this came off like <laughs> like personal but it's really passionate because I know that there are people dealing with that, not just myself. You're dealing with people around you who, with the, you know, what do we say, with the fake love. People giving you fake love, you know, because it's the end thing. They see other people love you, people that genuinely love you, and they, they're jealous of that. They're jealous of their relationships. They're jealous of the way people admire you. They're jealous of the way everybody speaks so highly of you. They're jealous of the fact that everybody knows that you are who you are. So instead of them finding out why people love you and, or why people feel this way about you, they'd just rather be angry about it. And they spend their time being angry rather than them growing into themselves and learning to be a light themselves. They're going to hate on your light. Man, get out of here. <laughs> so for anybody who's experiencing what I'm experiencing in these shoes of, of growth, elevating, uh, and blessings is coming your way in this season. Right now, even with all that's going on in the world, with sickness and everything going on, blessings are just coming your way. New opportunities, new 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 people. Uh, all, the, all these great things are happening for you. All these things are coming your way. But then you also dealing with pain because you're starting to see folks that you love crazy right now. And I don't even want to talk about certain things because I, I probably lose half y'all for that. But you got family acting crazy. You got loved ones acting crazy. Some people got their children acting crazy. I thank God my children ain't acting crazy right now. But I know there's some at all, and I'm not calling your children crazy. I'm saying there's just, you, 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 you might be in a space like, why is everybody acting like this towards me? Why are people treat me so mean? All I'm trying to do is do better. I'm only trying to just live better. Why, why are they mad at me for wanting to try, try to do better? But you're going to understand there's not nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with wanting to do better and wanting to live better. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't turn back. I don't care how painful it may be. I know that's hard to say and, and it's going to be hard to do for a lot of people. But don't turn back push through, love you, love yourself enough to keep going. Don't let these people turn you back. You've come way too far. Don't get scared now. Mm -mm, you come too far to get scared. You come too far to turn around. Keep going. Keep going. They're going to show themselves. You're going to be glad that these people showed you themselves before you reach where you're going. You don't want these hateful people around you when you get to where you're going. And then as soon as you reach your promised land, they they, they slay you. Mm -mm. Let these people separate now. Let these people move on in this time while you're still down. You know, you're not at the bottom. Like, you you on your way up. But see, it, it might be moving in a way that is, is so slow and gradual that a lot of a lot of times you don't even notice that you are really going up. So some of these people that's so busy hating on you instead of loving you and pushing you up and, and, and being attacked or, or, or loving you up. They're, they're so angry and they so focused on hate and they so focused on negative that they're missing the fact that you're going up and they separating themselves from you because they think you're going to stay down forever. Let them separate. 
Let them distance themselves from you. Let them show who they really are. That's to your benefit in the end. You'll be thankful later when you realize fully who they are and how they meant you no good to begin with. Peace and love. I love y'all.